Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Yeah, on the ADA chart, we are starting to slowly grind here to the upside. ADA was very much oversold in the last few days here on the four hour chart. It's recovering now, but it's approaching now the 50 line of the RSI on the four hour chart. Um, as you can see here, it has been in this downtrend now for a while and majority of the time it's spent in the bearish range, which means below 50, okay? So while it is possible to go a little higher, really in an ongoing downtrend, it should not break much above 50 and should spend most of the time below 50. If we can see it oscillate above 50, it has a good chance to get back into a more lasting uptrend, but we are far away from that, I assume. Current assumption is that we could be now in that E-wave rally, it's a bit too early to confirm that, but essentially what um, ADA did, it uh, came down quite deep in this support area. This yellow box was the general, um, you could say general standard Fibonacci extension target area here for the D wave within this triangle. An Elliott wave triangle has fifth, uh, five waves, yeah. A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E. And we already um, highlighted when we just broke that yellow trend line that it's most likely going to get into this region because that was our confirmation that the uh, triangle would unfold further and that a D wave low would be coming. And yes, we identified a larger extension area, but then also used the sub wave structures. You can actually see that. Didn't draw it very accurately, yes, but in this region here these Fibonacci levels, that is the target for the D-Wave. And then to be more precise, we identified um, here this 25.3 cent level for you, which was very accurate because if you see how, uh, how the outcome was, we identified the wave A, the B wave, and then compared it with the C wave length. And that was 25.3 cents. The key target for the C wave, the 100% extension of the A wave was reached. Yes, price did overshoot a little bit in that liquidation event that we had, but it never closed a four hour candle below that level. So that was really the level to watch. And now it's all about, okay, can we already be in the E wave? Now, the problem that we have is that the E wave is a corrective structure. So it could just continue to grind slowly to the, to the upside. I would actually now assume that we are in the E-wave um, as long as price stays above 24.5 cents. So it needs to stay above 24.5. Below that level, I would think there is one more FIB level left that it could test, which is down here at 23 cents. So I'm very open to the idea that we could now be in the E-wave, <clears throat> certainly fulfilled all the requirements and is starting to move but only slowly so far. It's just that, as you can see, if we go to the smaller time frame, it is not so clear what kind of wave structure this is on the smaller time frame. Could be a diagonal, this one, if we really look at the smaller time frame, could be a diagonal pattern, but it's an ascending wedge pattern, which, yeah, resembles a diagonal. So, for example, what we're looking for in the E wave is an ABC structure. So the A wave can be, a, can be a leading diagonal, then we could get a B wave drop and then a C wave higher. For the B wave, I just gave you a support area, which I've now taken off the chart, but I told you the lowest low it should go to really, shouldn't get a sustained break below that level. And the A wave might be a leading diagonal and we could be dealing here with a wave one, we could be dealing with a wave two, a wave three, a wave four and a wave five. Let me just... Wave three would need to be here. That doesn't really matter where the three sits. Um, now let's change the wave degree. And yeah, one more high. If we get another high above 27.05 cents, it could complete our A wave leading diagonal, okay? And then we are watching if we can come down in a B wave retracement. Diagonals are always a little bit unclear. Um, but the B wave, yeah, which would be the deeper pullback, could open then the door to a C wave rally. That would be the best I can provide at the moment on the smaller time frame. But this looks a bit like a diagonal structure. I mean, um, yeah, it could be an A wave, as I said, or um, 
I mean, surely direct continuation down lower is also possible because this could just be some kind of an ABC structure. And then obviously we could make another low and then support would be at 23 cents. But for now, let's give it the chance, but only, only, so we need a break above 27.05 cents first. We need that fifth wave in the diagonal. Is that clear? I, I don't have five waves at this stage. I only have three up. So if it breaks down now, I would not really be positive about it to hold support when it comes down and breaks to the downside of the trend line. We really need that fifth wave. And if it can give us that fifth wave, then we have a working diagonal yeah, on the chart. Until then, if it breaks down now and breaks below that trend line of the ascending wedge pattern, then I would reduce the likelihood of it actually holding support. Yeah, that's my update about um, ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.